Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum Salam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Alhamdulillah. So let's start, okay? I'll start with dua. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdata min lisani yafqahul qawli. Rabbi zidni ilma. Sufiya, how was your day today? Good. It was good? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So did you learn the lesson that I gave you yesterday? Yep. You did? Okay. So can you revise it for me? What was it? Let's start with the uh, Alif Jim. I told you to learn that. Did you do that? Yep. Okay. Then then uh, say it out loud for me then. Alif Ba Ta Alif Ba Ta La Alif Ba Ta La Jim. Good job, good girl, mashallah, you have learned it. And do you remember the shapes of each letter? Yeah. Okay, so what does ta look like? It looks like uh, the same as ba, but it has got two dots above it. Okay, good. What does ba look like? Uh, ba is like... Aleph, but it's curved and there's like a dot underneath. Underneath, okay, great. What does Jim look like? Uh, it looks like an upside down two with a dot, uh, or it looks like a fat person with a dot on its belly. Good job, good girl. Okay, so I even gave you a dua to learn. That was the dua before eating, right? Have you learned it? Yep. Okay, then decide it for me. Bismillahi wa Allah barakatullahi. Good job, mashallah. You're such a genius person, alhamdulillah. Okay, Sufia, I gave you some homeworks. I told you to smile very often. Did you smile? Because you look really yep. pretty today. You do look really pretty today. Thank you. That is because you smiled yesterday. You did smile at everyone? Yeah. Good job. Okay. So I even told you to uh, follow some sunnah regarding eating. You have to eat with your right hand. You don't have to say bad about the food. Did you do all this? Yeah. Good. So you have to keep doing it. You don't have to stop because I, I will not give you this homework every day, but you still have to do it. Okay. You have to smile okay. at everyone. You have to say nice things about the food and you have to eat with your right hand and say the dua as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, good job. So now we will start with the with today's lesson. I'll share the screen for you. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So today we are going to learn the next five letters, okay? Okay. So let's start. The first letter, what do you think it is? What do we call it? Alif. No, uh, the, we have done till Jim, right? The next, after Jim. Yeah. What is after Jim? Ha. Good job. So, ha. This is a different ha. So, there are two ha in this lesson. There is one over here. Can you see after wow? Yeah. That is also an ha. And there is a ha over here after Jim. So, what is the difference between these two? Uh, maybe I have to pronounce them a bit different. Yes, we have to pronounce them a bit differently. Very good. But what is the difference? Can you can you uh, can you feel the difference when you say ha and when you say ha? What is the difference? Uh, it it doesn't sound the same okay. a bit. Okay. So I'll tell you the difference. So ha, this ha after jim sounds like something when you. Uh, what do you do when you want to fog, uh, you know, when sometimes you fog a window, when you do this on the window and then you make a face on it, a smiley face on it, do you do that? Yeah. You do that? You do that. Sometimes we do it on the mirror and sometimes we do it on windows to make it a little bit foggy. That is the sound of this ha. Okay. Can you say ha? Okay. 
Ha. Good job. Ha. Ha. Okay, good job. The next letter. So what does ha actually look like? Uh, it looks like jean but without the dot. Exactly. It looks exactly like jean but it doesn't have a dot inside it, okay? What about kho? The next letter is kho. Say kho. Kho. Good job. Kho. Kho. Okay. So kho has this sharp sound coming from your throat. Oh, that sound? When you have something yeah. in your throat, what do you do? Oh, oh. Do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, that is the sound for kho. Say kho. Kho. Good job. So Kho is also look does also look like a fat man, but that fat man wears a crown. So it has a dot above his head. He wears a crown on his head, okay? Okay. And you remember that? Kho is yeah. a fat man with a crown. Okay. 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 So the next letter. What is the what is the next letter? Dal. Dal, exactly. So what does dal look like? It looks like a, a, a curly curl. Okay, a curl, a curl. Okay. But what do you do with your tongue when you say dal? Uh, when you open your mouth, your tongue like goes on the bottom of your throat. With dal, what do you do with dal? Say dal. Where is your tongue when dal? you say dal? Yeah, where, where does it touch? Uh, the top. The inside of your teeth? Yeah. We, we learned another letter in which the tongue touched the inside of your teeth. Which was it? Uh. In the last lesson? See all these letter we, uh, letters we learned in the last lesson? Alif, Ba, Ta, Ta, Jim. Which letter? Ali? No. Uh, fa? It's ta. Ta. Can you say ta? Ta? Yes. What do you do with your tongue? When you touch the inside of your teeth? Ta? Yeah. You do, right? So ta and dal are almost the same. Like when you... When you pronounce them, the tongue touches the exact same position, okay? Okay. But there's a little difference. What is the difference? Now say ta. You can put your put your finger, put your hand in front of your mouth and say ta. Ta. Yeah. Do you feel your breath? Yeah. You do? Now say dal. Dal. Do you feel your breath? Yeah. You still do? You should not. See, when you say ta, you should feel your breath in your hand. Where when you say dal, you should not feel your breath in your hand. That's the only difference between the two letters. Say ta. Ta. And say dal. Dal. See? There is a difference, right? Yeah. It will need a little bit of practice and they both will be different, inshallah. Okay? Okay, okay. The, next, the next letter. What is it? Zal. Zal. Good job. So Zal is supposed to be said in a similar way as Tha. We learned Tha in the last lesson, right? Yeah. What did you do with our tongue in Tha? Uh, it doesn't touch nowhere your tongue. Only your teeth like touches your lips a bit. Okay. So in Tha, you touch the tip of your tongue on the edge of your teeth. You did that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we will do the exact same thing with Zal. We will touch the tip of our tongue to the edge of our teeth. Say Zal. Zal. Good, exactly. So what does Zal look like? Does it wear a crown? Yeah. It does wear a crown, just like Ko. Oh, it wears a crown. It looks exactly like Dal, but it has a crown on top of it, okay? It has a dot on top okay. of it. The next letter. What is the next letter? Ra. Ra, okay. So say raw. Ra. Raw. 
so it it's it sounds something like when you write in english r a w what will you pronounce it ra 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 yes exactly it's ra what does it look like uh it looks like like something what's like it looks like a halfway uh joining up s okay does it look like a check mark yeah a tick like something when you when you say something is right you put a tick or a, a check mark in front of it right yeah does it look like that yeah yes it does look like that so you can remember raw because it looks like a check mark okay okay so let's let's revise the lesson it's ha ha kho kho dal 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 ro ro ha ha kho kho dal 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 ro Ra. Good. Okay, now I'll stop the screen share and let's see if you can recite it out loud without looking at it. Can you do it? Ha. Hmm. Ka. Okay. Next. What is after ha? Ka. The one with the one with the crown. What was it? Da. No. Ko. Ko. Hmm. Dal. Yes. Dal. Yes. Ro. Exactly. Good job. Good job, Sophia. You're doing such a great job. Okay. So let's revise it once again. Ha. Ha. Ko. 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 Dal. 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 Ro. Okay, so over here we can see ba, ta, and ta. All these three look like look exactly the same, right? Only there's a difference between the dots. Okay. Similarly, jim, ha, and kho. These three letters look exactly the same. But what is the difference? That the one has brown. The 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 only difference is the dots. See, Jim has one dot, Ha has no dots, and Kha has a dot on top of it. Okay, so the difference is the dots. Okay, and obviously there's a difference in uh, in pronouncing them as well. Do you understand okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And the next letters, Dal and Dal, are also exactly the same. What yeah. is the difference? Uh, dal it doesn't have a a dot, but sal has a dot. Exactly, good girl. So dal has dal does not have any dots, but dal has a dot above it, right? So that's the difference. Yeah. So it will be easier for you to learn the shapes that way. Ba da and sa have the same shapes. Ji ha ha has the same shapes. Dal and zal have the same shapes. Okay. 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 So in the last lesson. We learned a new dua, which was a dua before eating, right? Yeah. So today we're going to learn another dua, which is what will it be? Can you guess? Uh. When waking up. No. We will learn the dua after waking up, but later on, inshallah. So today we're going to learn the dua after eating. Okay. 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 So here it is on your screen. Can you see it? Yeah. So can you read it? If not the Arabic, then read the English out. Alhamdulillah. Il ati atamana wasakana waja. Allah, Allah, na minna, minna, 
Muslimin. Good job, good girl. So it says, Alhamdulillah ladhi. Okay. Say, say it out loud. Alhamdulillah ladhi. Alhamdulillah ladhi. At'amana. At'amana. Wasakona. Wasakona. Waja'alana. Waja'alana. Minal Muslimin. Minal Muslimin. Okay. So what does this dua mean? Uh, be, after you eat. Yes, we have to recite this dua after we eat. But what does it mean? You know, we don't know Arabic, like, right? But this is in Arabic, so it has to mean something, right? So this dua means, Alhamdulillah, means we are thanking Allah. We say Alhamdulillah. When do we say Alhamdulillah? When we are thanking Allah for something? Yeah. For example, when somebody asks you, how are you? You say, I'm good, Alhamdulillah. You're thanking Allah for your good health, right? So uh, just like that, when anything good happens to you, you should say Alhamdulillah. That is a way of thanking Allah, okay? So okay. Alhamdulillah ladhi means thanks to Allah who at'amana, which means he gave us food. So you just finished eating food, right? Sufia, your camera turned off. Sufia, are you there? Yeah. Okay. So your camera has turned off. Try to open it up. Okay. Yeah, here you are. Good. So, atwamana means for the food. So you just finished eating food, right? So you have to say thank Allah for the food. Can you sit down somewhere? Alhamdulillah. Atamana was was kana waja alana minna muslimin. Good job. Sophia, can you sit down somewhere? Yeah. And place your camera somewhere because you are roaming around a lot a lot. Okay. Can you just sit in a, in a one place? Okay. Okay, good job. Good girl. See now. Alhamdulillah ladhi means Thanks to Allah who Al-Amana gave us food. Wasaqana, he gave us water to drink. Waja'alana, and he made us min al muslimin from the Muslims. So you have to also be thankful for Allah because he made you a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is all you're thanking about. You're thanking here three things. You're thanking Allah for three things. The food, the water, and you being a Muslim. So it's a beautiful dua, right? You have to say this yeah. dua every time you finish eating. Okay? Okay. Let's repeat this. Alhamdulillahi ladhi. Alhamdulillahi. Alhamdulillahi adi. Alladhi. It's ladhi. Ladhi. Yes. At'amana. At'amana. At. Amana at Amana Wasakona Wasakona Waja Alana Waja Alana Minal Muslimin Minal Muslimin. Good job. So this dua may be a little different difficult for you, but we'll take time and we will learn this. Okay. I'll repeat it a few okay. times. I will tell you to recite it at home as well so that it is easier for you to learn. Once you're done learning it at home, I'll, I'll ask you again tomorrow. And if you're still not done, we'll continue it tomorrow again, okay? So there's okay. no worries, no hurry. You can learn it as, as, as you like it, okay? So it's safe. Okay. okay, let's start again. Alhamdulillah, ladhi. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, At amana. Amana Wasakona Wasakona Wajalna Wajalna Minal Muslimin Minal Muslimin. Okay, so can you read it uh, out loud for me? Alham Alhamdulillah Illa Hilla D 
Atamana Wasatana Waja Alana Mina Muslimin. Good job. Okay, good girl. So you're smart. You will be able to learn it, inshallah. Okay. So last okay. class, I told you three things that you should do before you eat or while you eat, right? What were the three things? Uh, always eat with your right hand. Okay. Never say bad things about your food and do your dua before you eat. Good job. Okay. So these were the three things that I told you. Today, I'm going to tell you three things that you should do after you eat. Okay? Okay. So the first thing is that you have to say the dua. And what is the dua? Before we eat. No, after we eat. What is Alhamdulillah. 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 Hiladi. Atamana. Wasakana. Wajal. Alana. Minal Muslimin. Excellent. Okay. The next thing that you should do is you should you should not leave food on your plate. Like you, you should finish everything that you have in your plate. You should not leave uh some some food on the plate because that will be wasted right yeah so you should not even if you go to parties you should take enough food on your plate that you will be able to finish don't take excessive food what will happen after that you will leave it and it will be waste okay okay so you should not waste food so make sure that you whatever is in your plate you finish it okay 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 and the third thing you need to do is Wash your hands and rinse your mouth. Okay. Okay? Because there are always food particles stuck to your hand that can cause bacteria and other germs to come, come, come to you, right? So you have to, every time you finish eating, you should rinse your mouth and you should wash your hands, okay? So now repeat okay. the three things that I told you to do after you eat. You must uh, wash your hands and rinse your mouth, okay. and and you must not leave food on your plate and get a amount an amount what you will eat. Okay, and one more thing. And what and rinse your mouth. What is the thing that you need to do after you eat after you finish eating? You have to do your dua. Exactly. Good girl. So you have to say the dua. So I'll be sharing that screenshot to your mother so that you can learn this dua. Okay? Okay. All right. So the next thing. Okay. The things that I told you, the three things that we need to do while uh, after we finish eating, those were the sunnah. I told you what a sunnah is, right? You remember? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's when uh, the prophet... Mm -hmm. Uh, Muhammad. Yes, you're right. You're right. Uh, when he uh. Okay, so you don't remember. No. Okay, I'll tell you again. The Sunnah are the acts of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He whatever he did. So we should copy what he did, okay? So that we can please Allah with, with his acts, okay? Because uh, he did whatever Allah told him to do. So these sunnah is the acts of the Prophet ﷺ. Just like I told you things after eating or things while you eat, eating with your right hand and not saying bad things about the food, all these things the Prophet ﷺ used to do, okay? Okay. Now, uh, we are following him. So, so we have to do those things as well. So these three things I told you today are also the acts of the Prophet All right? Okay. Okay. So the next thing I told you was the hadith. What is a hadith? When you... When you have to... Uh... Okay, so I'll tell you. Hadith were the sayings of the Prophet. Sunnah were the acts done by the Prophet, right? Hadith yeah. was the sayings, the words that he said, and whatever he told us to do, okay? So, today we are going to learn about the next 
hadith which is which is uh, the hadith which says dua is worship you know what dua is dua in a sense that when you ask something from allah you ask like sometimes you want you want something really bad okay you go to your mother and you say i want new shoes i want new dress i want new books whatever you tell her so you can try to convince her right that you want yeah. something so dua is uh, trying to convince allah to give you something like you want something new so before going to your mother you should try asking allah for it you should say allah please give me this because he can give you he has everything in his hands right so he can give you anything yeah. okay so you should ask first of all you should ask allah for something oh allah please give me this and then later you can go to your mother and ask for him for her uh, from her as well okay okay so the thing so your homework is think about something that you really need like you desperately need something and then you will ask allah for it okay okay i will explain this hadith even detail with you tomorrow okay i say i will okay. explain it to you tomorrow really well but today your homework is to ask something from allah that you need really desperately okay 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 so this uh, this is the homework you have three homeworks number one, you have to uh, you have to learn this dua Alhamdulillah, okay. okay? And okay. you have to learn the this from ha to ra, okay? Ha, okay. ko, dal, dal, and ra. You have to learn this along with the shapes and the dots, okay? Okay. And the third thing you have to do is you have to follow the three acts I told you after eating, which is the dua, and uh, also not leaving food on, on the plate and rinsing your hand and mouth. Okay, will you do this? You will do that, right? You will? Okay. Okay, yeah. I will ask you, inshallah. I will ask you tomorrow, inshallah. Good job. Good job, Sufia. You're doing such a good, great job. Okay. We'll talk, to, we will talk tomorrow, inshallah, okay? Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah Fest. Allah Fest.